I'm Jo and I have Merlin and Ripley, my Norwich Terriers, with me and today we are going to be training um, some new words. So we have International Dog Day coming up this week on the 26th and in, uh, in celebration of this I'm going to be teaching Merlin and Ripley some Japanese. So we are going to do high five, we are going to do watch me um, and we're going to do down, which as you can see Ripley can do very well already. So let's have a look, shall we? Part of the training is going to be utilising our body language. Move it the other way a bit, darling. Hold on, hold on, Merlin. Who said? Good boy, that's nice. Who said? Good boy, good. Rippers, chippers, choppers. Good girl. Who said? Good girl. It's a good girl. That's nice. So, I have this body language for down for me um, because it means I don't have to bend so much to guide. But if I was teaching this from completely scratch, who said? Good boy. Who said? That's a good boy. Who said? <laughs> good boy. Rippers, chippers. Who's there? Good girl. Who's there? Who's there? Good girl. So I'd guide her and I'd put the word in place. So whether they already know it or it's a brand new one, doesn't really matter. And Merlin, who's there? Yes, good boy. Good boy. Rippers. Who's there? Yes, good girl. Good girl, good boy, good girl. Right, let's do something different. So we're going to do a watch me now. And Merlin, Mitte, good boy, good. Mitte, Mitte, good boy. Nice, 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 nice. So lots of praise, lots of interaction for them. Good girl, that's very good. See you, Merlin. Ripley, Mitte. Mitte. Good girl, that's nice. Mitte. Good boy. Mitte. Ripley, Mitte. Yes, good girl, good girl. So I'm asking them to watch me. So I'm asking them to look up at my face and do a watch me. Good boy, good. So I don't want them looking at hands, I want them looking here. Mitte. Mitte. Yes, good girl. And then high five. So they already know a paw, so this is just extending something that they kind of already know. Hi, uh, Tachi. Good boy. Touchy, good boy, good boy. So if they already know how to do a paw, you just bring your hand up a little bit higher. Ripley, it's here. So that would be a, a normal, <laughs> that would be a paw, like that. Turn you round. So I would just then, touchy, good girl. I just bring my hand a little bit higher and that gets the position that I'm after. A bit more easily, isn't it? Hey, okay. Ripley, Hi yes, good girl. And now, Hi Tachi, good boy, good. Hi Tachi, good, that's nice, isn't it? And Ripley, chup, 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 chup. Hi Tachi, yes, good girl. Hi Tachi, yes. <laughs> You're a very clever pair, aren't you? Okay, that's not bad. So that's our third session working on those, isn't it? And it's just as much about me learning the words as it is for the dog. So it was really good to have a, a get a chance to hear 
what the, the wording should sound like as well as seeing it written and, and knowing what the word is. That helps me get it right as well. So then we've got Puse. Puse, good boy. Melon Mite. Melon Mite. What are you doing? I don't want that. Yes. <laughs> it's giving me a sleepy. Ripley. Fussy. Good girl. Ripley. Mite. Yes, good. That's nice. And Merlin. Sit. Did touch it? No. Touch it. learning a little bit of Japanese uh, courtesy of Rosetta Stone and their really cool international dog uh, dictionary I suppose. <laughs> uh, so yeah have a look really good fun and uh, your dogs will enjoy it as well they might learn something new or they might just get to spend a bit more time learning something and getting some rewards in the process mightn't you? What do you reckon Merlin? Sit. Hey touchy. Yay! There's a good boy. Ripley. Ripley's doing her own thing. 